beautiful people. Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel in the Notero 1122. This is going to be a quick reading. Well, no, it won't be quick. I'm just, I just lied. I'm sorry. Because I have a gang of cards, so it's not going to be quick at all. Alright, so look, we're just going to check the vibe for the first week of June. We're going to be pulling some, um, some oracle cards from spirit, ancestors, and things like that, just to see what they have to say. This will not resonate with everyone, so please take what fits, leave the rest. Um, yeah, check the other signs in your chart once they're posted to see if it resonates with you. If you like my vibe, hit that subscribe, okay? If you've already done so, thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys, okay? All right, so like I said, this will not resonate with everyone. I'm going to pull some spiritual oracle cards and things like that. It's a lot of cards, so this will be a long reading, okay? All right, so some of you are facing some obstacles and challenges right now. Let's see. Have patience in this situation. Right. Everybody's getting this card. Choose wisely. And discontent and boredom. Bottom of the deck, you have, <clears throat> excuse me, deception and envy. Okay. So, it uh, looks like you have some people that are uh, envious of whatever it is that you're going through. Got some deception going on, which may be causing some obstacles and challenges, okay? Um, there may be a situation that you're bored in, possibly work, relationship, or something like that. I think there's going to be some changes coming soon, and you're being told to choose wisely, but also have patience, okay? Give whatever this is a chance to grow. Also, give a source a chance to align everything up for you so that it goes in uh, the way that you need it to go for your highest good, okay? What else? What are the messages? Communication is key. Confidence to your success is key. Look at the brighter picture, okay? So, something is going on for a reason, okay? If you're holding back, speaking up for yourself, source is telling you that you need to speak up for yourself, okay? Um, yeah. Work through your fears as well, okay? Some of you may actually have to step out of your comfort zone to get things back into alignment for you. With these obstacles and challenges and deception and envy, hopefully it's not you being deceptive and envious of somebody else. Um, that never works out, okay? Um, yeah, something here with these obstacles and challenges, you're dealing with somebody that uh, is causing an issue for you, okay? Speak up on it. Open that throat chakra, okay? Yeah. Something is happening here. You may not see it, see the outcome, but source is working behind the scenes. There's going to be some choices that you're going to have to make um, pretty soon that I do believe that's actually going to lead you to a better position. Hold on. Don't uh, let fear hold you back. Let's see. Step out of your comfort zone. That's what I'm getting. Let's see. Okay. All right, so you have marriage. You also have thief. Oh, my goodness. And you have journey. Hmm. On the bottom of the deck, you have family room. Okay, so some, somehow or another, this is regarding a relationship. This is regarding a relationship. Some of you guys may be moving on from a relationship because there's obstacles and challenges. Um... Damn. There may be somebody involved in this. There may be another person involved in this situation, okay? So, somebody may be moving on from this situation. Um, there's some type of thief here. This may be somebody that's actually stealing from you, or this little kid here is still in this man's pocket watch. You may feel that somebody has wasted your time, stole your time. 
you know, regarding this situation or whatever it is. Um, yeah, whatever this is, this is coming to light. This may be involved in marriage. Yeah, this somebody here may be married here. There's a family here. There's a family here. What I'm getting, let's see. Let's get into the tarot. What's going on here? Why obstacles and challenges in Germany? Ooh, start in the first. Okay, so what the hell happened here? Yeah. Excuse me, what is with me? I've done this in every video. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. Let me have one more for obstacles and challenges and the star in reverse. <laughs> that is wild. Every video I have done that. What the hell? Okay, I'm so sorry. Let's see, you have the six of pentacles. Okay, so somebody is not given to the situation, wasn't given equally. And someone does not see this person in a very good light, as a matter of fact. Why is Steve here? Page of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. Somebody wasn't given to this situation. One person was given more. And somebody was breadcrumbing, not given barely anything. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody wasn't given to this situation. They were taken. What else? There's lack of communication, lack of forward movement here. Oh my goodness. No commitment. Somebody didn't want to commit here. They were just in it for whatever they could get. Let's see. What else? Temperance. Somebody's trying to balance their life out. Make wise choices with this temperance here as well. Heal from this situation. Make wise choices. Oh my goodness. What else? <sighs> trying to balance shit out. I'm getting somebody was bored in this situation and they were juggling. Juggling more than one person because they were bored. Give me clarification. Well, I'll clarify later. Let me see. Give me one more. Somebody was bored in this situation. This actually landed on Thief, the Eight of Swords. I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Hierophant. Um, somebody was not given to this relationship. This is not moving forward. Somebody did not want to commit to this relationship. This also clarifies deception and envy. So, yeah, somebody probably made you believe that they wanted this Ten of Cups with you or they wanted a family stability or either there was some type of juggling going on here with this Two of Pentacles, with this dis discontent and boredom. So somebody was bored here and they were juggling other people that's what i'm thinking so there was some deception and envy going on in this relationship the partner was being deceptive and maybe you or the other person was envious of this relationship just saying there's a marriage here this was a marriage somebody's married here and they stepped out Somebody left the situation working on their own. Yep. Somebody took a leap of faith, moved away from the situation to work on their own. Let's see. Why is a star in reverse? Not a pentacles. Yeah, there was no stability here. There was nothing stable here. Somebody was probably in and out a lot. Somebody was probably in and out of this relationship a lot. I don't know if this person traveled for work or whatever it is, but this person is in and out 
not giving equally to this relationship, causing obstacles and challenges in the relationship, possibly self-sabotaging, not giving commitments. Why is the Nine of Swords in the page here? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Wow. And the Nine of Swords. Somebody wasn't given to this situation. There was no stability here. Leaving somebody else worried, concerned, trying to figure out what is going on. Where do I stand in this relationship? What are we doing here? Where is this going? This person here is like, I'm just in it for the fun. I'm not trying to get serious. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Hierophant here? Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's got multiple options. Three of Wands. Waiting for other things to come in. Damn. Yeah, so there's no stability here. There's no stability here. Just waiting for things to... Somebody's in it just for fun. Why is it taking so Somebody's just doing their thing. So Pentacles, juggling. Juggling in this relationship. Spring. Yeah. Strength, somebody's trying to tame this beast with this boredom and content, discontent in the two of Pentacles. Somebody's trying to tame this wild beast, trying to calm themselves down. You also have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is not stable here. Dependent on others. Mm. Well, that makes sense. You got somebody that likes attention from multiple people because they have self esteem issues. Let's see. Nine, ten of cups. Three of cups. Nine. See, yeah, somebody was dealing with third-party situations here. We have the Three of Cups here, clarifying deception and envy, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody else is wounded warrior, guarded, deciding to work with themselves, leaving this alone. Hmm. Give me one more for the fool. Seven of Cups, confusion. <sighs> Multiple options, confusion, ten of swords, somebody's being stabbed in the back. Eight of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. To a source. Somebody's undecided if they want to work on this situation. They're really at war with themselves. If they want to go back or not. Look at the picture up there in the front. Up there at the top. Somebody's really at war with themselves. Whether they want to go back and work on this situation or not. Because this person has stabbed them in the back. Why? Because they have multiple options. Okay? They have multiple options. Causing confusion in this situation. Somebody's a wounded warrior standing their ground, not really wanting to hear what this person has to say. They're working on themselves. Why? Because this person had them in a third-party situation coming in between their family. They destroyed their family. Yeah. This is really crazy. Four of Pentacles. Let's see. Yeah, somebody's really guarded. Not trying to see. Not even entertaining. Somebody is really selfish here. Not willing to give a dime or an inch of emotion, love, affection, anything. Look at this person. Not only is he holding a pinnacle in his hand, he's got his foot on the other pinnacle and looking like I wish you would come in here and try to grab any of these bags and these pinnacles. This person is very selfish. They're holding on, you know, 
holding on to everything that they have, not giving back. So whoever you're dealing with was very selfish. Very, very selfish. And I don't see them changing. Let's see. Communication, messages, information, research, guidance. You might get communication from this person. Or you might try to reach out to this person and communicate. Prosperity. Money, abundance, mentality, rewards. So somebody's moving away from this, working on their funds, and focus more on their pinnacles. Um, yeah. Like, literally. Or at least that should be. That should be your focus right now. Working on yourself. Self-development. Not this person in this relationship because they brought too much drama in this relationship. You have limitations, toxicity, addictions, overthinking, and fear. Okay, so there may be some codependency issues here in this relationship. Definitely with this other person. I can see that because, yeah, they're going to other people for attention. All right, so like I said, you might get communication from this person. You know, it's time to move on. Um, focus on your money, your mental health, okay? You're actually going to be rewarded for both spiritual growth and um, prosperity as far as your money is concerned. Life purpose, happiness, passion, um, passions, fulfillment, and truth. Okay, so some of you are actually figuring out your life purpose, feeling, you know, realizing that material things aren't the key to everything. There is spiritual growth that needs to happen here, and you understand that a lot of people can't go with you uh, with this on this journey alright so we're just going to pull one of these because man these cards are then you have determination so you are determined to heal move on from this situation determined to live your best life okay and that is what you should be doing keep it up it looks good humanity alright as far as this is concerned some of you guys might actually um Try to give back, put your mind off of this situation by giving back to others. Also, I think you realize going through this situation how important other people are. You know, to treat people like decent human beings, it really matters. You know, be good to people because it matters. You know, this situation right here, dealing with someone could actually screw somebody up emotionally, you know, which is really sad. You know, it's really sad that people deliberately hurt other people like this. But, you know, learn this lesson and move on from it. What in the hell? Okay. This one went way up under the... Up under the cabinet and everything. Alright, so you have defend to the end the worthwhile. Okay, so stand your ground. Stand your ground. Don't let people run over you, you know. Source is giving you all the information that you need, the wisdom and clarity that you need, the guidance, okay? So know your worth. Don't let people run over you and speak up for yourself. And then you have inner trust. Source is giving you everything that you need. The intuition is on point. The thing is, is that you have to listen to it, okay? You already know. You were perfectly designed in Source's image, okay? So everything that you have within you, you can trust. Trust your inner being, okay? Trust your intuition. Don't second guess yourself. And then you have free from judgment, free to love. Okay, so maybe this person right here kind of, you know, kept you trapped or whatever. Maybe it's like, you know, this person judged you for everything that you did. You know, well, why are you wearing that? That looks funny. Why do you act this way? That, you know, maybe you were dealing with somebody that's very judgmental, okay? But now you're free to be yourself. Do your thing, you know? Listen for truth. This is another one. Listen to your intuition, your downloads, and everything. When people are talking to you, listen to what they're not saying. Check their actions. Do they line up? Let's see. What else? You have a drum, dream, and journey. Okay, so march to the beat of your own drum. You know, don't forget about why you're here, your passions, the things that you want in your life, okay? Keep um, whatever dreams and things that you wanted to accomplish, keep that. You know, accomplish your bucket list. Do your thing. If you wanted to travel, do your thing, you know? 
Focus on your spiritual journey, your journey in life while you're here, not material possessions because that's not what life is about. It's about learning and ascending to a higher level, okay? So yeah, keep your dreams alive and continue on your spiritual journey. It's working for you. I know you have star ancestors. Follow the voice of your soul, like I told you. Follow your intuition. Trust it. The divine gave it to you for a reason, okay? As open portals for you to receive downloads and, and communication from spirit, okay? So you're going to be perfectly fine. Learn how to trust what you see. Don't second guess it. If you get a, a, an epiphany about a person when you first meet them, give that person the benefit of the doubt, but always keep that in the back of your mind. You know what? When you see signs and stuff like that coming towards people, go back to that memory. You know what? When I first met this person, I had this thought that, hmm, is it on point? Check your intuition. Most of the time it is. All right. On the bottom of the deck, you have elder. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Okay. So our goal here is to learn from my elders. Learn and obtain the wisdom that they had and that they used to get them to where they are. Take that wisdom that we have, grab it with what we have, mix it together and move forward. You know what I mean? And assign, ascend to a higher level. And then also our descendants, we teach them what they know, um, what, what they know, what we know, and then also let them incorporate it so that they can move forward and ascend and each one teach one. That's what generational uh, ancestral uh, learning is about, okay? So, and if there's things in the past that, you know, that have gone down in your family and things like that, that, you know, you know, these curses, generational things need to go, you need to eliminate them, let them go if they don't serve you, okay? Sometimes people adapt to the times that they're in. All right, so let's see. You have holistic health. All right, so the main focus right now is your health, your mental, emotional, and spiritual health right now, okay, and as well as your physical. So that's your main goal right now is focusing on you, okay? Take that self-care. Bring peace into your life, peace and harmony. This is what you need in order for you to move forward and to be able to think clearly and also to be able to commune more with source. You need a calm spirit, calm environment, not all these obstacles and challenges. So maybe this person that was removed from your life is removed for a reason. Maybe they need to learn some things too, okay? And you have inner child. Right now is the time to do shadow work. You know, if, if source has separated you from people, even if they haven't, do your shadow work. If there's some issues that you got going on in here, and we all have them, you never end up um, fully finishing working on yourself, okay? Um, I was going to say something else, but I don't even need to. Work on your inner child issues, okay? Because sometimes we are carrying the pain from our parents, okay, and their parents. So we have to learn how to heal this and also... Um, I won't say change, well, yeah, change those, you know, generational curses into blessings, okay, into lessons, okay? So, yeah, and then inspiration. You're an inspiration to other people. Your healing looks good on you, and other people notice it, okay? You're shining. And keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. Also, um, people that inspire you, keep those people around you. All right, let's see. Messages from Spirit. Okay, this situation is fraught with deception. So, whoever you're dealing with, that deception and envy, you need to take care of that. Get that out of your energy, okay? Because it's showing up. Source is telling you, hey, check this out. Partner over here? Yeah, buddy gotta go. I'm just saying. If you're wondering if this will happen, the answer is yes. Will you be prosperous? Yes. Will you have spiritual guidance? Yes. Will you move on from this situation? Yes. Will you find someone else in the in the future that will love you for who you are? Yes. Will you find someone that will respect you? Yes. Will you find somebody that's spiritually aligned with you? Of course. You know what I mean? Will this person learn their karmic lessons? Oh, yes. Definitely. Okay. 
If a relationship doesn't last, it may be the universe telling you it wasn't supposed to. So please get out of this situation if you haven't already, because if you don't, Source will allow this person to literally hurt you because you're not supposed to be there, okay? Your time with this person is over with. You already see what's going on with this person, so it's time to let it go, okay? Source is telling you, be patient, plan, I have something for you, okay? So I need for you to be mentally and spiritually in tuned, you know? Focus on your holistic health. From mind, body, and soul all the way through. I need you to be complete because I got a journey for you to go on, okay? Leave this person behind. There are possibly a couple of life cycles behind you, okay? So they got some karmic lessons that they need to learn, okay? They need to take this L by watching you leave. You need to be honest with yourself about what is going on, okay? So look at this situation for what it is, okay? Right now you're stuck in this situation right with this person. Flip the roles and think of yourself as a friend. What would you tell your friend that's in this situation? Okay, take your heart out of it. Use it logically. What would you tell your friend if this was your friend dealing with somebody like this? I think I already know. If you don't get your stuff and get up out of there, I'm just saying. You know, don't allow somebody to, to continue to hurt you. Okay, you don't need that. All right, so... You have Chariot of Ascension, Merkaba. This is the second reading though. You have Chariot of Ascension, Merkaba. Okay. A spiritual practice has come or is soon coming to your attention that will help you on your soul journey. Take your time to develop and practice your chosen spiritual discipline regularly. This will help you grow in power and grace, anchoring your spiritual light within the body of your soul, okay? So, yeah, um, your main focus right now is aligning yourself, getting yourself together, you know, uh, with spirit, source, clearing your chakras, um, speaking up for yourself, you know, utilizing that throat chakra when it comes to, you know, people and what you want and what you want in your life. You have a say-so. This is your life. You're the only person that you have to spend the rest of your life with, okay? So you might as well be happy. It's, it is about you, boo, okay? So with that being said, I hope this helps. Um, yeah, you got some people that you don't need in your energy, okay? And I'm quite sure you already know that, all right? But uh, anyway, love, I hope this helps. And uh, yeah, all right, take care. Bye.